I'm here for the interview. Wait, why am I? Why are these are like seats to a 1999 Ford Econoline? What are they doing here? That's really, really weird. I need, I need, I need to get out of here. <gasps> I just jumped over that cone. All right. Only one person saw that. She saw it, but she's the only one who saw it. Okay. Here's what we're gonna talk about. Look, I want to make this video, honestly, knowing that I may be purging some people from my subscribers list. I think this is just a hard to grasp video. It's it's kind of offensive. It's kind of repulsive. Is what I think about this video. But I gotta, I gotta make this video for things to be right in my heart as a YouTube host. I just wanna simply propose a theory that the only real cure for hair loss is psychological. I know that's gotta be a reoccurring theme in my videos, but I really think it's that simple. A year and a half when I really first started dabbling in hair loss videos, I did one called there is no cure for hair loss and I basically had pointed out that or, or, and I definitely want to point out today that we can talk about hair like cures for hair loss like getting a hair transplant taking Propecia uh, getting your hairline tattooed we can talk about these things we can call them cures they're not really cures though there's definitely flaws in all of them. We all have to agree. Now, I know that everyone has their own camp that they naturally relate to. And a couple of weeks ago, when I made that series of videos that basically kind of poke fun at people that tell me to buzz my head, people who tell me to get a hair transplant, I basically mocked that concept. Now, for each one, I gave everyone their own turn just to kind of test people to see what would kind of almost offend them. Because people have these emotional... Uh, attachments to, to what they think the answer is. So I wanted to just try to break that wall down for everyone so that everyone was offended a little bit. And I believe, I think we would all agree that's ultimately what shows like South Park and Family Guy tend to do. They they offend everybody so that we all can take ourselves a little less seriously and, and, and break down those emotional attachments to what we think is, is the right thing or, or whatever we believe because we get all emotional about what we believe, right? So that's why I did those videos. And ultimately, I, I want us to be honest with each other and admit that there's a problem with all hair loss cures, all of them. And so I was reading the comments yesterday, someone was pointing out that even a hair transplant is not the end all cure. It, it's not like you get a hair transplant and then you're set for life. <laughs> like as if a decade later, it's, it's not gonna need to be redone or, or whatever. It, there's no just easy cure. Like even if you took Propecia or whatever it is and you took it the rest of your life, well, then it's only retaining what you've got until you stop taking it. Those, it's just funny that people like emotionally protect and like defend these cures for hair loss as, as if they're perfect. And they're clearly not perfect cures. They're not cures. They're just things to make us basically to pacify us for a while and buy us some more time to where we still have hair so that's why naturally my default is just to say to buzz it off when you lost enough hair just to do that but i'm also here to say i personally believe in not doing that until you're ready and it, it's necessary because just because i've got a receding hairline doesn't mean i'm supposed to shave my head my, my shave my head off to shave my hair off right okay so that's the first thing I needed to say today. The second thing I need to say is maybe I should have buttoned that up. That bothers me. And I wasn't planning on wearing this sweater. It was just cold in the office today. It's in the 50s here in Nashville for some reason. Okay. The other thing that we need to talk about that I've, that I've talked about at the beginning of this week is this concept that what if the cure for hair loss is already in your head anyway? Whether you decide, oh, I'm losing my hair I'm going to evolve. I'm going to come either, become either better or, or worse as a human being. Either I'm going to remain a victim who worries about this all the time and lets it limit my life and my decisions and my thinking, or I'm going to 
find a way to get through it and get past it and move on and become a better person and evolve and have a character arc. And then I know people can say, but Nick, like we've always said, you're 36, you're married, you got a kid, you still got this much hair, but look at me, I'm 20. But at the same time, I would argue back to you and say, yeah, but then there's 20 year olds who watch my videos and say they just went ahead and start shaving their head and their life's never been better because now they don't have this burden on them. And I made that video about time travel and I said how that basically think of it as a gift for me that I can tell you these life lessons that you haven't learned yet because you're too young. There's certain things you have to learn in time, like for one, not giving people power over your emotions to begin with, letting people offend you and that sort of thing. But also not giving power over your hair over your life. Like you're the one doing that. You're the one giving power over your life. What, at the risk that someone's going to notice and say, oh, hey, are you losing some hair? Is, is that, it's almost like that's the worst thing in the world that could happen to you uh, in reality and we're letting that get sidetracked. What I, what I present to you is that the only actual cure for hair loss is psychological. It's simply to accept the fact that you can't change your hair loss and that you have to become a new version of yourself that doesn't have hair and that's okay with not having hair like me. I'm a person who doesn't care about my hair loss and then people who aren't familiar with me will say, well, then why do you make so many videos? The money, right? So this is like a greatest hits compilation that I felt that I needed to make. It's really this simple. Like there's no reason to keep watching my videos. Like. Once you begin to accept yourself for who you are with your hair loss and accept that new identity, you don't need hair anyway. And, and I'd, be, I'd be the same person without hair or with hair because I understand that lesson fundamentally. It's a psychological cure. It's the only cure for hair loss. Otherwise, you're going to continue watching videos like this on the internet, obsessing over it until you finally get that simple concept and then you're like, wow, I made Nick Shell a decent amount of money. And he was telling me the same thing over and over. Then he finally made that greatest hits compilation in that one video, and then I stopped watching his videos. Now, I know that that's a horrible business plan for me to basically say, you don't need me anymore. But you really don't. Like, it doesn't get anything beyond this video. This is all I'm really ever gonna say. I'm gonna shed a different light on it from time to time and talk about different theories, but it's really just in your head. And the moment you free yourself is the moment you get over this and past this. Please don't keep thinking that you're going to save your hair. Even if you do delay the process, it's a lost cause.